Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RPG Maker MV. In our last episode, we finished up all of the stuff going on in the rest of our first town. Of course, we're looking at our overworld here. Let's zoom out. We have our house where our hero is starting. Uh, we have our town over here, the very first town that he arrives at, and... Here at this town, we have been setting this place up, and inside of the town we have a couple of buildings, we have an inn, an armor shop, a weapon shop, an item shop, two little, little houses that people live in, and then we have the manor house, where I want the, where we're going to have our guy who tells us about the slavers, where they are and what to do. But I was thinking about something. There's nothing that tells the player that they should head east to the town of Deacon. So I'm going to add one last thing here. Uh, in intro four, hopefully this doesn't mess everything up, I want to add just a little bit of text right here. We're going to do a new, well, yep. I want to do a new show text. Actually, this should work fine. If I do a new movement, uh, set movement route for our Grug character to turn left and then turn down. Then hit OK. And then the new show text. And he's going to say here, I should head east. to the port of Deacon. To the port of Deacon. They will most likely have purchased passage across the sea there. Now we need Grug's determined face. Uh, there we go. Grug's neutralist, determinist face. Put that at the top, hit OK. And then, of course, we need to edit this. And I want to remove his two turns. Oh, I know. That'll work fine. I don't need to touch anything. So apply, OK. Let's put our player here so we can just double check and make sure we haven't messed this whole thing up. Real quick. Feel free to load. Grug's Revenge. Oh. Is there something happening in the background here? Nope. Just acting funky. I must leave you here, Fontaine. I will not return until Billy is by my side. I will always love you. I should head east to the port of Deacon. There we go. Oh, this got cut off. And then he heads down. Again, our background music will be playing from the previous scene. Alright. That works. Uh, we just need to edit this one more time because this got cut off. So we just need to edit this down on one line, this up, and then this down one line, then this up. There we go. Wish it did that word wrap automatically. I wish that wasn't something that we had to, had to mess with. Let's double check this. All right, cool. So we tell our player to head east. I was just thinking about it in my head that if the player doesn't need to go east, doesn't know that the city is to the east, they might wander south, and they don't want to go here yet because it's going to be, number one, we're going to put higher level enemies down here, so they have to do a little bit of leveling. And number two, this is where our, our cave is that they're going to need to go to. Uh, so 
we don't want them to go that route yet. So let's go ahead and go back to our city here, the town of Deacon, and we need to fill out this giant house. So this house needs to be fairly big. And this is again where the, the owner of the port is going to be. And I was thinking of this too. This is a port city. Shouldn't this be our beach area? Like, shouldn't this stuff be over here? No, not that one. Where's the... There we go. Is this it? Nope. Yeah, no. Why is it giving an edge like that? If it's on the edge, what's it do? Oh, yeah, so... Because isn't the, the C over here? Shouldn't this be... Like this? We should probably build a little... You know, you know what? We should... This is this is happening. This has to happen. I, will, but I can't deal with this not being this way. We're going to do a little bit here... That's fine. This I just I want this to be a little more irregular. There we go. And we're gonna use this tile right here. And we're gonna set actually is that the tile I want to use? Yeah. I don't want that ground underneath it. guess I would have to use something from this set if I don't want it to upset the ground there. Or, oh, okay, I can use one of these. This will be a floor that you can walk on. So, could I use just a little section here? Does that, nope, that messes the whole tile up. Huh, sorry to suddenly get distracted from what we were going to do today. But we're gonna put a boat here. Let's be honest. This, they're gonna you, you're getting a boat. That's the whole point of us coming to this town, is to get the boat. So they need a tile they can walk on, that doesn't that stretches out into the water. Why is there no such tile? These tiles all block movement. Unless, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, folks. We may, we may be good, actually. Uh, and then a little bit of this. I think this is going to do it. I think I may have found what we needed. All right, first of all, put that there. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get rid of all this, now that I understand what's happening. And back to those tiles. I don't know if these block movement, we'll find out eventually, I guess. But we're going to have a tiles go out to here. Like that, so you can walk on it. And we need a little bit of support underneath. I think we need one of these. Does that feel right? And then this will give us some shadow underneath it. Some depth. Like that. How do we... This just seems very abrupt, but that's how that's going to work. That looks okay enough to me. And then we'll put a ship here when everything is said and done. Cool. Now this makes a little more sense. Just a bit more. Alright. So, back to what we were talking about, everybody up here. We're going to design this whole house. We have one more thing to talk about before we jump into it, though. I know we're already pretty, like, five minutes into this episode. Ten minutes into this episode. Um, I fixed our problem. What I had to do was we add a self-switch A and save it. That means that after the player talks to this, it sets a switch that says A, and from now on in the game, when the player talks to this, it shows this screen instead, because it has a switch of A, 
So that prevents the player from using this over and over to get infinite potions. Or same thing inside our armor shop to get infinite money. And I went back and I fixed that in all the other places where we had a, an item giveaway like these, these potions uh, to stop that from happening. So I found out how to solve that. That's cool because now we can set conditional uh, events where what's really cool, I have an idea how that's going to make it so that we can set an event, we'll be able to make an event and make it move over here eventually using those conditions. So that's going to be really cool. So we don't have to reach our whole maps like we did here because that was, that was awful. Okay, so that said, that all done, let's go into designing this big old house. So we need one more new map. We're going to call this Deacon Manor. And this is going to be an inside, of course, of course, of course. And it needs to be big. Not, not stupid big, but what's a 20 by 20 look like? Eh, uh, what's a... What's a 25 by 35 look like? Still too... Oh, sorry. 35 by 20. Maybe one, maybe just a tiny bit smaller. How about 25 by 15? Okay. This is going to be a nice big canvas. This will work for us. So again, that house is made of brick, and we're just going to draw a big old square out of this house, because that's what this house is. Oh, we went one too high. Again, we're going to leave an outer barrier. Uh, let's get rid of this that we messed up. All right. And our wall for depth. And of course, we have the floor. The floor here is going to be different. This is a this place is full of riches, so we're going to use this carpet. That's obvious. Oh, this dark carpet. I like this. How's this? Oh yeah, that looks nice. So this has this carpet here. Uh, next up. Sorry, I had to look at something. I don't know how I'm going to do stair. Oh, there's a bunch of stairs. That'll work. Perfect. Got it all figured out. So. In here, you kind of come in right in the center, if I remember correctly. If we look out here, it's kind of right in the center of the building is where that door is. So let's put our door space right about in the center. That feels about right. And then we need to design what this house looks like. So if you're going to come inside of a big fancy house, there's probably going to be an entryway, I would imagine, that you walk into. And then there's probably a grand hallway. Uh, and then I would think that over here, we would have more of this. And there's going to be a big fireplace here, maybe? And then over on this side, so we've got to... Let's add some depth to these. Over on this side will be a giant dining hall with a huge tables for people to sit at. Uh, and then over on this side, we will have... Oh, something, some kind of gallery, maybe? And then over here... There's going to be stairs leading up. So we'd have a little section where this comes out. And uh, probably has to come out twice because to make this look correct, I'm thinking that if we use these staircases right here, like it would go like that, and then we'll put our door right there. So get rid of that and put in a flat tile for... The floor and we'll put the door right there so we have a little staircase so that goes up to the second floor so let's talk about what's here now that we have the basic layout of this floor uh, let's edit this and let's call this floor one anytime you've got multiple floors it makes life just a little bit tougher so here we go uh, we had just talked about what's here I like this big fireplace I think we should put that here in the center. Why is that being hidden? I don't know why that's being hidden. Oh, because I'm too big, maybe? 
Maybe it can only do a four by For some reason it just wants to show that so let's see what happens if we do piece by piece will it let me place this yes okay I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that the whole thing at once but that's okay so we're gonna have this big old fireplace here in the center that's kind of cool uh, and on the sides we should probably have some kind of hanging little tapestry things uh, some curtains maybe ooh what about uh, yeah, I thought I saw a lot more curtains and tapestries in here somewhere. I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, how about these hanging tapestries? Those look kind of neat. What if we put one of those on each side? Again, it just really doesn't want to do the bottom half of those. That's fine. All right, so we got some hanging tapestries on either side of this fireplace. Uh, maybe here there'd be a table along each wall here like so there'd be ooh, it'd be a fancier table so there'd be a table like this and there'd be a table here and on each one of these tables you'd have to have some flowers I guess like uh, you'd have one here and one on the end and then there what else would be here you walk in what would be on the table right there uh, a pen and paper because you're supposed to sign that you've just arrived that's pretty good so that's a good little entry hall so we need to do the dining hall here that we're gonna say there is this is the big Ooh, I know what we're gonna do no uh, there would not be this there would be um, a fancy chair at the front not a throne this guy's not a king but he'd have two fancy chairs at the front of this room where he can dole out again he's not a king he doesn't get a throne but he gets to have these two chairs here and then would they be side by side yeah that's fine with me he and his lady wife and they will rule over the people there's a table that goes in front of them and then down here is where the the lesser people would sit Like that. Why did I make that so far away? Is this too wide? Should it only be maybe this wide? Yeah, I like that better. Let's get this in here. There we go. So there'd be these two. So he can sit here and rule over his, his court, have enough room, someone to stand and dance and perform. Everybody here. Oh, there needs to be fireplaces back, back here. Not the ostensibly huge fireplace. Uh, that's out front but maybe just some little fireplaces that keep this room real warm in the winter when they're having these meetings and uh, on the wall behind him is a plaque that says who rules this land and uh, of course all kinds of junk on the tables so there's gonna be uh, some paperwork off to the side and then there's some scrolls off over here and then there's going to be some food, uh, mostly wine, uh, like this, a little bit of wine on the table, uh, and the person who sits next to him is having a coffee, and then down here there'd be a roast boar, and there'd be some fruits, and there'd be some fish, and there'd be some pie. In bottles galore for guests. Beer if you want it. Wine if you don't. There we go. And then place for everyone to sit. Where is our little seats that you can walk through? There we are. So that'll work out. That's a nice little banquet room meeting hallway I guess so what goes over here over here is gonna be his office so in his office he would have uh, what would he have uh, let's see 
A desk? His desk would be down here. Maybe right here. Oh, that's that's a big one as far as desks go. His desk would be right here. Um, I wish that we had a way to flip like a back side of this sprite. If we put it here, does it look like the back of a chair? No, because you don't have the legs or a shadow. So you really only have a sprite that faces downward. That's okay. That's not a problem. Uh, but it doesn't suit our needs at all. So let's cut this table back down. Oh. Let's cut this table back down. Again, it's a tile. It's not a, an item. So he'll have a little desk table here. Um, we'll put... Some little items on his desk, uh, a book that's open, and his little beer and glass that he's going to be at. Uh, we need more table. He needs more table. His table needs to be bigger. Like, okay, that'll work. And he can hang out back here. Does he need a chair? Yeah, we'll put him on a chair. He'll sit right here and also on his table. Maybe there's some little... It looks like a shop table almost, but this is where he sits and counts his taxes that he's collected from everybody in the town. Uh, and then, just because I love having some crossed axes, this is screwed up. We need to fix this. There we go. That looks better. Uh, and we'll put a shield right here in the middle because shields look real cool. Put a round shield. How's that sound? Boom! That looks neat. This looks good. We can have a bit of an open room. So, we'll save that. Let's do layer two, shall we? Or level two of this building. So level two, when we look at it, is just has that little hook on it. It's a little section. So we're going to do one more. Uh, new map, interior. And this is Deacon Manor Floor 2 doesn't need to be nearly as big. It can be kind of small, actually. We already know the layout of this, which makes it real easy, which is up the side. Goes over a bit. Comes down. Goes over. Comes down again. There we go. Add the depth. And then the carpet. Because people will be entering this from downstairs in the back, we'll just put a door here and we'll put, do we have some stairs that we can put that go down that are flipped? Or do we only have stairs that go up? I guess we really only have stairs to go up. That's fine. We'll just have a door here, and then behind here we'll have a blank space. Oh! I wonder if that black space exists. Oh, we may have to think about that. That's useful for a door. Huh. Useful. Uh, and then up here, this is just the bedroom, is all that this is. So, again, we'll get our fancy bed. Eh, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do the fancy bed. So this is a bedroom. Fancy bed is... I don't know why this is refusing to draw multiple page sprites all of a sudden. I'll probably... I just need to restart it, but we'll see. I don't have the game open, do I? Nope. Uh, so up here, he's got an organ that he plays. That's not going to work because it's going to yell at me. There we go. kind of tedious to not be able to draw the whole thing and then like we've said before should probably be a fireplace the same brick fireplace will work that we've used before how about this a little fireplace here he should have the same banners in his house that he has downstairs there we go 
And then over here, a little table, because everyone loves tables. Uh, we don't need that one. Uh, let's do the fancy table. Thank you very much. Over here, we got a little table. And on that table, let's just put some garbage. Little things and uh, these these flowers right here. That'll work. How about a map on the table? That'll work. Cool. That looks good. I kind of like this little map. I hadn't noticed that before. It is a little letter. Cool. So here's the bedroom of the Lord of the Manor. King of the port town of Deacon. He's not a king, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, we can put some windows on the inside. Really haven't done much with that, but... We'll look at that later. I'm not too worried about adding extra windows. So, we have everything here. We need to go ahead and add our transitions. So let's go in here. Uh, new. Oh, no, not that way. Do it the easy way, Grug. Quick door transition uh, to outside the town of Deacon. All right. And let's use a door that matches what we've been using in the rest of the town. No reason to make things crazy. Up here, I need a new... Well, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. That's silly. Uh, quick, a door. That'll work, but we're going to go to floor two. Right there. Oh, nope. Right in front of it. Okay. And then outside in the town of Deacon... We need our door here to go inside of Deacon Manor. And then last but not least, we need our door on the second floor to go back to the first floor. Okay, so that gives us our interior for the Manor House. Pretty normal. Pretty good, we're at 27 minutes. So here in the manor house, we're going to have, uh, should we have people be able to look at things? Like up here, this should just say, if you if you look at these table, uh, it should say, the high table looks out over the meeting hall. Right, that's fine. Same as character, apply OK. And we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that sucker all along here in case somebody wants to look at this, they get the same message. Um, over here, new food sprawls across the meeting hall tables. Right, and there we go. I'm learning. I'm learning. Apply OK. And we'll copy this. There we go. Uh, player can't really get up here to read these, so we don't have to put anything on them. And then over here, we're going to put our head of everything, so that's not a, we're not going to do anything here. Uh, why don't we add something that ties into the player's background? Let's tie them together. So, uh, we'll call this shield. And show text. This shield has the same emblem from the War of Tears. That yours does. Actually, why don't we have Grug say, this shield has the same insignia as mine from the War of Tears. Capitalize that. From the War of Tears. Grug's face here. All right, I like that. 
Anything else we need to look at here? Yeah, we better add more. We've 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 gotten this idea of adding stuff here, so we might as well keep doing it. Uh, table. Show text. This paper has the names of all guests coming and going in the manor. Okay. Same as character. All of these, I said the same as character. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting so good at video game making. I'm awesome. All right, so let's save that. Uh, up on the second floor, we got anything up here? Uh, here we go. Show text. We're gonna put Grug's face on here. I want a different face. Uh, this kind of like weird shape. I don't know how. Oh wait, how about? I wish I knew how to play. Top. Okay. Apply. Sounds good. Copy. Control V. Control V. And then down here, do we need to add anything else in? Uh, here. Yes. We need. Oh. See? Look at that. Look at that. I almost forgot to put that on the same level as the player. And then here we'll put a new one, same level as player. And this one, I don't know why I'm naming these. It really doesn't matter because we're never going to come back to them. Uh, show text. And then here, this is a map of the world. Uh, places locations ah locations from the war of tears are marked off on this map all right looks good apply okay so i think we've got everything designed which is good let's uh do our due diligence uh let's get to the town of deacon let's put grug right here Let's save it all and then let's let's test it. Ah, I knew we'd mess that up. Uh, we need to add. Can we? Is there a darkness? Oh, there is. Is there one here? Yeah, there is. Look at that. What's that look like? Ah, I don't like that as much. You can see it too much from behind the door. Well, maybe. Hold on. Maybe I'll like that better. So let's see what that looks like in a game. So yeah, see? Eh, we'll stick with it for now. I don't know if I like it or not. So inside here we've got the table. The high table looks out over the meeting hall. Down here. Food sprawls across the meeting hall tables. This paper has the names of all guests coming and going in the manor. Oh! Got a mistake there. Again, what I'm noticing and I'm forgetting about is when you add... When you add someone's face, it changes what the dialogue actually is, how it's spaced out, because it has to put that character's face next to it. So I need to pay attention to that. Because that's what happened last time. Alright, there we go. Go upstairs, we'll come back down and test that. That looks good. The shield has the same insignia as mine. Fro of Tears. What? Oh. It's really hard to be this good at making games.
All right, there we are. The War of Tears will probably be will probably be the the sequel to Grug's Revenge. We'll go back and tell that story. We will probably never make that game. That is more work than I have. All right, cool. So, we've got our manor house all built. Not bad at all. We are now ready to create our main character in here who is going to lead us on our way. But not only do we have to create our main character down in this uh, building to talk to about our quest, we also need to... Uh, let's, let's stop this noise here. We also need to fill this city with a couple citizens so it's not so empty. So we'll be doing that on the next episode of Gaming with Grug. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'm glad we found a way to make item to make events only happen once. Uh, we got everything done. We're ready to go. I'm going to say again, sorry. Thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. And as always, as always, we hope to see you soon.